Hey guys, uh, a little bit of a different video today. Uh, this is our Macan, my dad's car, the family car. Um, uh, there's not a lot of information out there how to install JB4 or JB1 tuning boxes on these. So I am about to install it today. And I just thought uh, of quickly making a video about it for people who are struggling with finding uh, where the plugs are that you have to connect and disconnect for the JB1 install. So my girlfriend is going to help me record this. The focus will be all over the place because <laughs> there's so many uh, little details and the camera just doesn't know what he should focus on. Um, as you can see, uh, we already had it installed for a year, but the car has just gone in for service. And when I removed the JB1, I color coded these uh, tabs. So as you can see, this one has a little green sticker on there. And um, over here, I have the JB1. The JB1 and JB4 is pretty much the same. Uh, this is just a standard box. Uh, so as you can see, this one also has the green tab. So I know this tab has to go in the green one. I have a pink tab and I have, I don't know, blue one? Yeah, a blue tab. So this is the JB1 box and this is the Macan. And we're going to start with the install. Uh, all right, so um, first things first is uh, removing this cover. It's really easy, it has a tap here, here, here and here. So I just pull it up, you feel it release. Up. There we go. You can put this aside. And then the struggle begins. So I'll have to look for the tabs. This is the one, it's a pretty annoying one. And then we have uh, one up here. This is the easiest one. As you can see, it's the blue one. And then if I remember, yeah, here is the pink one, this big one right here. So these are the clips. What you have to do is you have to, uh, you can, ah, now it's unlocked, no. So what you have to do is you have to pull, ah, I get it, yeah. Uh, so this is the first one we're exploring together here. You pull it backwards and now you have to push it. And as you can see the tabs here on the other side, they go up and they release and then you can pull it off. That's the first one. We are going to position the JB1 box uh, over here like this. We are, we'll connect it with zip ties. And now we just have to root all the cables in, in the engine we'll do it a little bit more neatly than this, so we don't have any rattles or loose cables. Um, the hood cover goes right here, yeah, I'll just put it right here. This goes underneath here, it's like the perfect place to put it, it just fits underneath of here. And I'll just put this on here, and now the easy part is that these are color coded, it's not so hard anyways. Um, so this is the blue one, the top one, and you can see that it's pretty much the same size. So if you have this clip and this clip, you can see that it's about the same. So what happens now is you have to plug the original plug that you took out of it, you have to plug it in the fake one from JB1. So this one should go in here. Opposite, yep, the opposite side. So that's now fooling that one. And now we put the JB1 plug in here. That's one plug. There you go, and it's shut. Um, so the next one, uh, this is the pink one, the big one, I think. Yeah, it's the pink one. So this is on the back of the block. Um, let me see for a second. No, I can't see anything. All right. I'll so you always just have to figure out how they are kept in there. And I can't really feel anything on the underside. No. Yeah, they can't, yeah, okay. I can feel something on the top that feels like it's clicking. I, I'll need both hands here. That's great. OK, 
Okay, um, one second. I'm going to get some a screwdriver. Yeah. So what I'm doing is pushing this away, and at the same time, yep, there we go. So all I did was with screwdriver push this down and away and pull the tab. So now. Um, the same thing happens, so we find the fake clip, the female clip, uh, and we have to plug this in the real clip of the car. It's again the opposite side, yeah, I'm always on the right side, uh, the wrong side. Alright, it's clipped in, and now we have to clip the JB one clip back in the sensor. So now that's fooling that one. At the same time, try keeping your cables yeah. Um, focus. Yeah, try keeping your cables a little bit organized. So these are right here. They go to here. This is here. Make sure it's never on a surface that gets really hot. These are wrapped in some material to uh, protect them, but I don't think you want to put it on something that gets to a couple of hundred degrees when you're driving. So now we go to the last plug which is right here this one uh, this is pretty hard to see so it's uh, a little bit more annoying when you're doing it the first time the focus is also going to be pretty terrible because it's always focusing on this right here instead of the clip but we'll do our best and try to show this on video as well so, all right i think like you can see it on the camera so you just have to clip your fingernail underneath here and you just push it in pull it backwards and then you at the same time with these two fingers you pull on the clip and it comes off that's it um, then once again you take your female one you get the original one let's see uh, you can the light yeah. um, let's see if I can get it right this time from the first time yeah there you go these clip into each other and then you get the JB one and if it wants to focus, you can. Okay, uh, mm, this is on top of your. Yeah, I hope it won't. It won't lose it. And then we can just clip this one on the original one, and that's. Let's push it a little bit harder. Yeah, that should be shut on there. All right, and that's it. Those are all the three clips. All right, so we're just 10 minutes in. Uh, all three clips are secured. I just got myself some zip ties. And now you have to move right here so I can get to it. And I'm going to try to figure out a way how we can fit these. This should be one of them. I'm just stuffing it underneath here. I'm not claiming this to be the right position or anything, but this is just what I'm doing. Mm. There you go, that's tight. Then I'm gonna Try to do one. Uh, I know what I can do. Yeah, it's pretty easy. If I can get one underneath of here, and um, I can. Mm, that's from. Yeah, that's on the, the wrong side, of course. So I'm gonna do it the right side. You don't have to move around that much. Uh, they should be able to see. It's better so I can make a random one right here and then I can put one that runs around here and if my brain still works this should keep it from moving and it does so this is a setup that I'm using
and this should keep it from moving, especially when the hood is closed. Uh, it shouldn't be flying around in the engine bay. Make sure that you don't break anything by over tightening this. I'm just going to get uh, something to cut these. So I can come in here. I don't even yeah, know if it's sharp enough. There it is. Yep, there we go. And the last one. Make sure you don't cut any extra cables. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Uh, so now we just have to uh, put the uh, hood cover, engine cover back on. So as you can see, it has these four things that hold it in and now we just have to find the four ball heads so this is one this is one uh, here's one in, in the back and around here Sh yeah this one is like with a little bit of a protective cover and that's for this one so we can just there's a little bit of just messing about figuring out where they are I place my finger on them and then at least you get one right, so that's one. Or you can look underneath, and you can get these ones. This one's in place, yep, clicks on, and these ones. Here's one, it's right on top. Yep, clicks in. And the last one is almost uh, always the most annoying one. So of course this one doesn't click in. And while it's, I want it to be perfect, so I'm going to take a look what's going on. Yep, no, it's not on there. There we go. That's on there, so that's the engine cover back on it. Um, I hope this helped. Uh, if you had problems with installing this, or if it helped you, uh, and made you it clear just let me know in the comments down below uh, if it helped you with all right see you guys in the next video goodbye